Hey, how we doing, everybody? Today we are going to be configuring and building the best Lucid Air that money can buy. I mean, look at that car, first of all. It's just so beautiful. Let's see. Let's see the different models we got. We got the Air Pure. Seems like the smallest one. Or the cheapest one. 77 grand. Touring for about 100 grand. Okay. Grand Touring for 139 grand. Probably have to do that one. And the Dream Edition for 170 grand. Okay. You know, let's... Um, oh, reservation's closed. Okay, let's design a Grand Touring then. Right off the bat, I love those rims. I just, I just love them. I have a kind of Bentley... Bentley does stuff like that. Lincoln do does rims like that. I think it just looks very handsome. Let's see. We got the Grand Touring base. Okay. Color. Let's see what colors we got here. Can I move my guy? Yes, I can. Okay. Color. We got Stellar White. Mm, not liking that right off the bat. Infinite Black. That's pretty dope. Okay. The Cosmos Silver. Not liking that too much. I like the dual tone. I want to probably have my top be a different color than my bottom. Um, quantum Gray. That looks kind of nice. Yeah, I, could, I could vibe with a Quantum Gray, I think. We got a Zenith Red. Oh, what, what the heck? That Zenith Red is very nice. I don't know... It'd be a little too loud for me, I think. Let's go. Let's go with that quantum gray. And these buttons are gonna piss me off. I'm, I'm gonna see what the heck these are. What does what this do? No, no more buttons. Let's see, what is this? Oh, we got an, an, a door opening. Okay, cool. Let's close the door then. So we're gonna open the door, close the door, really freaking slow. Awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna trick with this. It's gonna take a couple minutes. Let's feel what these freaking buttons do. This opens the other door. <laughs> the other door, of course. Awesome. I like they have a dual uh, interior, two tone interior as well. Very nice. I think that's pretty neat. If we can get the right interior made, kind of a dark on dark sort of thing. So I don't really care for the brown or the tan interiors that's a little too i'm i'm old i'm perpetually 63 even though i'm I, i'm perpetually 69 even though i'm 23 but i'm not that old to have a tan interior i don't know what this button does at all is this gonna open the trunk what did that do that didn't do anything did that turn the light on here we go here's the trunk okay trunks open i like how it's a uh, traditional car it's not a hatchback sedan. Or fastback, I should say. I don't need, what is that called? Like, what the heck is an Audi A7, Porsche Panamera, um, BMW, AMG, GT, four-door sedan? What the heck is that kind of trunk called? Is that a hatchback sedan or a fastback sedan? Leave a comment below. I have no freaking clue. I think the name is synonymous. We're going to keep going through these buttons here. It's probably the headlights, turn signals. Ooh, okay, that's cool. That's really neat. Turn signal. Yep, turn signals vertical here, and then you got one on the mirror, the uh, front mirror. What's this? Oh, this is our our hood. And again, with our hood, we get like a frunk because we got the batteries. Let's see. Looks like it's a clam. Oh, it's a clamshell design. Okay. Uh, clamshell design. From what I from what I understand, is like when some of the top of the wheel well opens up with it, like the whole darn hood opens up this clamshell design. This here, not the, uh, not just the, uh, you know, little, how, not just a little douche, douche, douche here. Just not this little front. The whole darn hood opens up. That's a clamshell design. Let's close our hood. We we'll probably have another turn signal. Right, turn signal again. Yep, turn signal again. Again, vertical and the uh, 
front mirror. Headlights once more, probably. Or is that? Is that our brights? I don't know. Oh, we, okay. Yeah, so it's our regular lights. I don't know if it has brights on it. I'm definitely keeping these wheels. Like I said, these remind me sort of, if you look at Bentley, they're Mulliner. Uh, they have very stacked wheels like this, large 21, 22s. And even the Lincoln Black Label Continental has wheels somewhat like this. Here's our charging port. Door handles, I'm not going to open those doors. Let's see. Okay. So I think this is a good exterior color. So we'll keep it with that gray. Now let's see here. A platinum polish finish. So that must be our top here. Um, a glass canopy. So we got like a panoramic roof. Very nice. That comes included. Ah, the wheels. Okay, so you can change the wheels. 19-inch um, arrow range, that looks gay. These ones look dumb. 21-inch arrow blades. We're going to definitely keep those bad boys. They look pretty damn sick. Pretty baller. Pretty handsome. All right, the interior colors. Let's see. Let's go inside. Let's go inside and see if we can get a full view. And let's look at all the interior colors, actually. I don't know where we can get a good view, though, of everything. If, no, no, I don't want to open the door. God dang. God dang, guys. That's going to anger me. Here, let's see. Okay, we got, we'll do something sort of like this for right now. So we got black up front, tan or white in the back. Black and ceramic North American walnut trim. Okay, that's, that's the first one. This one's kind of cool. Tahoe, we got black up front and a brownish in back. Saddle, they call it a saddle color in back, okay. Do we not have like an all black? Here we go. I think this is the one I might have done. The Mojave. Lucid black with graphite, and we got carbon oak trim. Very modern. I think I would have preferred to keep the regular wood, but it's whatever. Let's see. Mojave Perlux. Carbon oak and Alcantara inserts. Very sweet. Okay. Um, if it were my car, let's see. I'm tossed up between this brown and this black on sort of black, the Mojave. Let's see, because it looks like a coffee, and I like that piping of the brown right there. That's pretty neat. I don't know. Hmm. I'm in a pickle here, guys. What the hell? For right now, let's just do the nice black on black. I think if you were to have to sell it, that would sell easier. Let's see. You got a little bear there because it's in California. Yeah. Yeah, I think I prefer that black on black stuff. Let's see. I know you can put this tablet away. I like this here. Watch. I would probably have that put away a lot. I love this. This display, holy cow. I think Cadillac's going to be using something like this, too. This display here. Open this up. We got, like, a which cup holder here. Got myself some cup holders. I believe you have buttons to open the vehicle. Or to open the doors on the vehicle. Let's see here. Look at this glass roof. This is insane. I love this. It, ah, very futuristic. And you can see it's a little darker up front here than in the windshield. And you got just like the floating sunshades uh, visors. Very cool. And it goes all the way back. Let's see. What else? Is there anything to press on here? 
back seat. Does the back seat do anything? You can open the doors. You got some climate controls, it looks like. Oh, you got a little opening there. That's cool. Keep your champagne in there. Hmm. Air label on the sides, right? Let's keep going. Lucid user experience with navigation included. Control lots of features simply by speaking. Okay, thanks to Alexa built in the best class voice AI. That's cool. We got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Spotify, iHeartRadio. Awesome. Definitely have that. Electrify America Charging. Three years of complimentary charging with Electrify America. That's cool. Charging plan enrollment is required, though. Advanced driver assistance system. This is included. This can probably help with, like, autonomous driving. Software updates, drive off alert, blind spot warning, lane departure protection, automatic emergency braking, front and rear crossing traffic protection, automatic park in and out, park distance warning, drowsy driver alert, get your ass back up there, drowsy driver alert, distracted driver alert, future ready hardware for semi-autonomous driving system with one of the most comprehensive sensor suites available, and surround view mirroring. Cool. Sound system. Not just sound, just sound system. The sound system. Especially for use in EVs, delivering clear dynamic audio with minimal impact to performance or range. Nice. Yeah, I do like my big range. I want at least like 400 plus miles of range because my Lexus right now only does, I think, 320, 330 on a full tank of gas. And I just, I just can't vibe with that, guys. It's, it's not working. So what do we got here? We got a black on black interior. Lots of range. The outside looks pretty dope. Let's go back to the outside, if I can. Yep, we got a gray and platinum outside, okay, exterior. And we got them big 21-inch turbine wheels. Those are beast. Let's view the summary and reserve it. We're not going to actually buy, but maybe I can request a brochure. I would not mind that at all. We got a Grand Touring, starting at $139,000, Quantum Gray, Platinum Look, a Glass Canopy, of course, 21-inch 21, 21 Aeroblade Wheels, Mojave Interior. We got all the bells and whistles, blah, blah, blah. If we use a federal tax credit, look at this. If we have our federal tax credit included, we get $7,500 off, meaning we only have to pay $131,500 for this car, brand new. Same with this an electric vehicle, and it's like, in my opinion, one of the top electric vehicles. I like I like this vehicle better than Tesla, and I'll tell you why. Um, I'm not gonna request brochure yet. That includes my personal info. I would definitely buy this car if I had the disposable income for $131,500, and I'll tell you why. It's a different car from a Tesla, okay? You don't see a lot of Lucid Airs on the road yet. You see a lot of Teslas on the road. You see a lot of Model Ss, lots of Model Ys, those SUVs, um, and a lot in my area. I see a lot of Model 3s now. And so it's, the Tesla now is a very common vehicle. Lucid is still not a common vehicle, so it's more of an eye-turner. Um, and... I like Lucid's design language much better than Tesla's. I think Tesla's is kind of very organic and flowing, a little bulbous. Um, their headlights are in, are interesting, as their taillights are. Their interior is kind of cheap to me. I have to just tack on that iPad <clears throat> and some and some weird some weird wheel designs, some weird steering wheel designs. I don't care for them. Overall, I don't think I would buy a Tesla, or I don't think I would own a Tesla, rather, instead, unless one was gifted to me. If I didn't have to buy it or pay for it, I would gladly drive it, because it's electric, but I'm not spending my money on a Tesla. With a Lucid Air, I love their design language. It's very sleek, handsome, and old school, okay? Very, like, presidential. It doesn't, it's not too loud. It's Bentley-like, 
Cadillac. The interior is well thought out. Um, there's screens, but there's also physical buttons, which I love. Uh, it's a very relaxing interior. Uh, what else? The front grille reminds me sort of a Honda. You get the five LED lights. It's like a streamlined side, you know, those handles, those door handles go in. Mm. You get a continuous LED tail light on the back. Love that a lot. Here, let's go to the... Yeah, let's go back up here. Let's just sit. That front fat, that front fascia, I just love. You get the clamshell hood. I'm, I'm assuming you get... <sighs> Come on. It's not going to move for me. I'm assuming you get folding mirrors. Perhaps, perhaps not. Let's look at the back. One continuous LED tail light. Integrated deck lid spoiler on the back. I would definitely tint my wheels. Overall, I think their design language is very kind of like a mashup between, I think, Bentley, Cadillac, and Lincoln. Okay, I'm seeing Lincoln. You know, it's stately, but it's not overdone, and it's not sporty, and it's not in your face. And that's why I like it. And so that's why I would prefer owning a Lucid and spending my money on a Lucid Air instead of buying a Tesla and spending my money on a Tesla. Definitely would go with Lucid instead. So guys, that is our build of my perfect Lucid Air Grand Touring, and it only cost us about $132,000. Um, I don't have $132,000 yet, but in the future, we'll see. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much once again for watching this video. Go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you would be so kind. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my other two channels linked in the description below. Also in the description below, I have some of my social medias. Go ahead and follow them. Uh, and I think that's it. You know, stay tuned for more content. Thank you.